Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. In this vlog, uh, I've not much to show of my private life uh, and not much about DJing, so I will do a tutorial. Um, I've been programming lately, uh, the last week, two, two weeks, almost full, on my websites. Um, so I've yeah, I can show you someone who's programming and I think that's not much interesting. So, let's do a tutorial about Odyssey, the music, melody making, music making, melody making music, making music software from the guys that also make Mixed in Key. Let's dive into it. First of all, um, when you see, uh, this is the first screen you see and I want to create a new project. As you can see by the screen and the way it's working, um, Odyssey is a, not an offline piece of software. It is software you can use as an app, but it is online and that makes it a little bit um, irresponsive. Uh, and the problem is also that your files are stored in the cloud and not on your hard drive. Um, the guys mixed in key will mail you every time you hit save, uh, they will mail you the project file. Uh, and in this case I can create a new project and let's say screen uh, demo. Create. Okay, this is the first screen you see of Odyssey. And on top of the screen you see the transport, uh, so play, record. Uh, on the top of the screen you can go back to the project, import, output, uh, export, MIDI files for example, the, um, the resolution of your pencil tool, the key of the song, and in this case we will choose an F minor. I will choose 128 beats per minute. And here you can see if you want to uh, a scale view, so you can see all the notes that is, are in your scale. Those are on the left over here. But uh, you can do a normal view and then you will see all the keys on your keyboard. Also the ones that are not in key with your key of this song. But let's go to a scale view, I find that more useful. Uh, on the right side you can add uh, stuff to your melody. Uh, this is the chord section, this is the melody section, this is the bass line section and the drum section. Let's start with the chords and the chord progression. A chord progression. It will show up a window and you can choose a chord progression. The main advantage of using, and that's why I'm using Odyssey just only for the, for the chord progressions, uh, you can choose from the most used chord progressions there are. And so you know those chord progressions will work because they are used in famous songs. Yeah. And now we see, and that's one of the reasons why I said that Odyssey is an online tool. This stuff happens pretty on a pretty regular basis why does it work when my internet connection is faulty so it, it has some bugs okay this was my project now I have one problem that response Real slow, but I like the chord progression. When you want, you can choose uh, what you want to do with the rhythmic pattern. They have uh, a different patterns.
fringe. Okay, I like that one. You can e uh, choose the, the note length. You can directly edit the MIDI. When you do that, then you can't go back to the generating of the notes and it will not uh, automatically choose for you um, um, a drum pattern and a bass line and a melody that will fit. So we don't do that. But the chords are the thing where I use uh, Odyssey for. Um, just to show what the software is capable of, let's add a melody. Melody and here is the melody window. Um, it can do a rhythm. Okay, pitch. You can choose from different pitches, but it's not really melodies. You have to edit it. You can drag notes. Let's say that I'm um, happy with that. You can even choose an octave if you want, fifth, sixth. You can choose a tension, chord notes only, harmony, that's what we what we ju just did uh, and how long that we want to use those. Let's say I'm happy with the melody and you can also add a call and response if you want that. Let's add for that another call and response. It will add it at, my, at the end of my four bar loop the gap there's a gap in the middle a call and response melody I talked about that earlier in the video when the first part needs the second part to resolve if you only hear the first part you know that there has to be a second part um, mm, mm, mm. I can move the gap. The gap is never never in the beginning. The gap is always or at the end or in the middle. Then you get an idea what the call and response is. Let's delete this. Uh, delete the select generator. Yes, I want to delete it. Back to the first melody. And this melody is kind of action response. The second part has to be there and when I stop it there you know there has to be a second part because otherwise it, it isn't complete and that's the last part over here and now you know the melody is complete let's say I'm happy with this let's go to a bass line add a bass line and the fun thing is it adds a bass line that is completely okay with the chord progression and the, um, and the melody above. I'll move it up because 
some of you uh, probably are maybe watching on your phone or something and you don't hear the bass line so I'll move it up uh, not to and if you want to you can drag notes around well I said that but you can't because over here it says follow the uh, the chords or the opposite of the movement. I like the method with the follow the chords because then there is much more flow in the um, in the bass line. In principle this is we have a melody now with chords with bass line so we can make it in our DAW. But I want to show you the last part and the, those are the drums. I noticed that uh, Logic for example does pick up the drums well pretty okay uh, from the MIDI file you export with Odyssey uh, it has a couple of instruments uh, uh, not right but uh, it does a guess and it does it really well um, but Studio One makes a mess of it and sees it just as notes um, let's add a drum part and over here you can see what happens and you can sequence the drums over here if you want to it has default uh, loops in it even the first drum loop sounds okay Let's say I'm happy with that. Now what we can do is export the stuff to a MIDI file. We click on export and export this audio. Why the option is there, I don't know. Export this MIDI, save. Uh, export selected notes, no thank you, And but I want to export the full track. I'll give the track a name. In principle, now we're done with Odyssey. Let's import it into Studio One. Let's go to files. That's one of the things that I like about Studio One, the inbuilt, the built-in browser. I go to my melody. As you can see, it sees it as separate MIDI files. And that's really handy. But it doesn't associate instruments with it. So I'll use the grand piano. Grand piano one, grand piano, ah, geez, grand piano two, yeah, we are, uh, grand piano three, yeah, we are, and grand piano four, and the grand piano four, this is the drum part, uh, it has no use, of course. You have the notes of the drum parts over here, so you can uh, use it with an own with your own sampler. You only have to copy the uh, parts uh, which note that are played that you have the right instrument for that. Not really handy, but okay, it works. Now let's go to Logic. Let's import the MIDI to Logic. Yeah, import tempo. Okay. As you can see, it has three, uh, four MIDI regions. Automatically selects an instrument. Um, and let's see what the default instruments sound like. Not bad. And I could probably say that those are the right instruments for the drums. Yeah, it does a guess, but it does it 
Yeah, really well. Okay. So my comment earlier about logic uh, having the instruments not right. Well, there are cases that the, uh, that it hasn't it right. But in this case, it has. The chords are over here. The bass line is over here, and the no, this is the melody part. Okay. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please do a thumbs up. I want to do more videos like this and more videos about DJing in general. If you have suggestions, I'm a little bit looking for what I should do with the vlog and what sh shall I show you. Uh, if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. I'd like to know and I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, bye!